Hey there, today I am going to share travel gear that you really do not need to fly with. There are some items out there for travel that may twinkle and sparkle, but they're really not necessary. We don't want to waste space with our travel essentials, but we also don't want to have unnecessary items if we really don't need them. The number one being a neck pillow. If your flight is less than five hours, I would not use a neck pillow unless it is my exact one that I have. You can barely move your neck and it holds your neck from falling forward. Your neck can only go forward a little bit and I would only use that on a flight over five hours. The neck pillows that you see in airports do not have support. Another item you do not need to travel with is a blanket. The reason I suggest that is you only use the blanket once in the airplane. I would just suggest bringing a cardigan, a really thick cardigan or a sweatshirt jacket hoodie and roll that up, putting it in the bottom of your backpack or your personal item bag. A cardigan or a jacket, you can use those throughout your vacation in a cold restaurant, for example. Another item that is not essential for travel is a jewelry travel case. Most of them are bulky and they take up a lot of room in your carry-on bags. One travel hack that I have for packing my jewelry and my carry-on bags is to lay all of them horizontally in a gallon bag. And then I roll it up tightly and then secure the ends with rubber bands. Necklaces do not get tangled up. If you have earrings, you can either put those in contact cases or tiny little containers uh, for crafts that you may have sitting around your house or that you might use for a thick liquid. Another travel item that is not an essential is a travel cord and cable organizer. This technology gear can be split up into softer pouches. For example, like one of these kind of pouches, I have an organizer that just has pockets. It's skinny and it is moldable to whatever space you have available in your carry-on bags. Mine does roll up. I usually don't. And then when I get in the airplane seat, I just flap that out over the pocket in front of me and that way it's easy accessible mid-flight. I organize my technology cords in a hard shell container for travel and it just took up too much space. It was bulky and it did not smush and squish. I would also take shaving cream off of your packing list and just so you know disposable razors and electric razors are allowed in airport security. Welcome to my channel. My name's Laurie. I'm a pilot wife and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. I just made a video about my most asked travel questions. So I'll be sure to look at that in the iCards or in the description box underneath this video. I used to pack this travel wallet, especially for international flights, and I do not need something that big. When I go on vacation, I just need a little small, thin wallet with a few slots for my cards. I got a black one for my husband, and then we found another one that actually folds over, which I think he might like better. Most travel wallets will fit inside my crossbody purse that I have. I have a light blue one, but I really like a blush color. These neutral tones seem to match with more colors that I travel with. Another item I do not think you need to travel with is a passport booklet or a wallet that has room for your passport in it. One thing we travel with is this awful ugly travel belt that fits underneath your belt loop or your pants. This will fit your passport, money, uh, credit cards. There's also a belt that you can stick some dollar bills in. There's also an exercise belt that I'm interested in getting and it can be used to hold your phone if you go running even. An infinity scarf that has a hidden pocket is a fantastic idea. Let us know if you have any travel hacks for flying internationally and let us know if you are get to go to another country soon. Similar to the jewelry cases, packing all of your makeup in a travel case that is hard shell is unnecessary. Especially with makeup, it is easy to divide those essentials into little makeup pouches that fit in your carry-on bags throughout your flight and for when you're on your vacation. I have been looking for several years for a case for my hearing aid batteries during the flight. I have this one that the Resound company gave me. It seems like it smushes my hearing aids during the flight. So this one is a much better travel case with just pockets that actually work. We have never locked our carry-on suitcase, but it really depends on where you are going. If you arrive in London, for example, at 10 a.m. to your hotel, and then you're not gonna be able to check in until 3 p.m., but you want to go touring or go to a fun 
European restaurant again, you want to, you may want to have a lock on your carry on bags for that hotel stowage with so many airlines providing their entertainment system through their app on your phone. You do not need the wired headphones unless that fits your phone. Most of them are going to the in app entertainment system. Like I just said, so just take AirPods or some kind of earbud ear bud. <laughs> These take up a lot less space too. Ollie, we all just wanted to say happy birthday to you. Happy to your birthday. There are so many name brand travel pouches that you can buy even on Amazon that are so cute. You can design them and customize them for a girl's trip if you need to, but you can also just divide those travel essentials into plastic baggies. So just try and think of things that you can put in baggies like this travel case for your pills. You don't have to have something that costs that much money and is organized like that. Just throw everything in plastic baggies. I do have a medicine video. If you would like that, it's in the description box for you. The main reason I'm doing this video is because one of you subscribers asked me to make this video. They bought one of those roll up sunglasses travel cases. You can pack four or five of your sunglasses in this cute, trendy, sparkly, twinkly item, but it takes up so much space. It's bulky inside your carry on. Use an old regular reading glasses case. One travel essential that I love, but you do not necessarily need is your Apple watch charger travel case. It also will hold those AirPods and charge them as well when you get to your vacation spot in a hotel, but it is hard shell. And so I'm taking my own advice or I might take my own advice and not pack it on every trip. If you do need a video about travel tips for men, I'll make sure I link one for you. There are some very helpful crossbody bags and sling backpacks out there for you when you're on your vacation. But if you think about it, you might want to just pack a smaller purse. They're a little bit smaller and they can be still worn as a crossbody bag, but they will still have enough room for your essentials like your reading glasses case, your sunglasses case, a thin wallet and your chapstick maybe. And that outside pocket for your phone. <laughs> I went for an overnight flying trip to Oregon with my husband on a layover. And so I packed my toiletries in this bag, my regular carry on suitcase. It took up half of the suitcase. So just divide up your toiletries into pouches and those fit in open spaces. If you've been watching my travel tip videos, or if you follow me on Instagram at travel tips by Laura, you know that I like to split things up into pouches. It just makes sense. A lot of you have let me know that you use like my husband, a hanging toiletry bag. Some of them are very good at not using a lot of space in that suitcase. One lady who was going on a cruise ship trip before everything happened said that she likes to take a toiletry bag, but she does not fill it with things until she gets to her vacation spot. So everything else fits in pouches in her suitcase, and then she can get organized at her hotel or her floating hotel. <laughs> You do not necessarily need a hard shell first aid kit. You need band-aids, a couple of Tylenol. They, those can all fit in one of your pouches or a baggie. One thing I do like to travel with so much that I bought another one is a makeup brush holder because it sits up on the hotel room counter when I need it to, but you do not necessarily have to buy the super cute things. I did notice when I was pulling this out that this is more of a leather fabric and that is more of a slicky fabric and they're both from the same company, but, and when you are packing liquids for your vacation, you, they do not all have to be in this size. They can be smaller little sizes. These two containers are from a craft set of like 12 things. And I would only use super thick lotion, like my favorite gold bond for diabetics lotion in that. But there are also little tiny containers that you might not need a whole lot of conditioner. I don't need this much of conditioner when I'm traveling. I can just put my conditioner for a few days in something like this. My travel tip is do not use an off brand of this style of container. It's by human gear. That brand is top notch and these do not ever leak on me and I can put water in there and it would still not leak. Go to human gear does make a smaller version. I think it's 1.7 ounce. Here's a comparison of their sizes. I use this container to take dog shampoo in case I needed to wash my dog after a road trip of being in my mom's yard in the country in Georgia. I bought this cup holder that fits in between the handles of your carry on suitcase. I love the idea of this, but I have never used it in an actual airport. I think 
that I'm not in the airport long enough to need that. But that's just something, it's so cute and twinkly, but I really just don't need it. Soap sheets are another travel essential you do not need. They come with like 30 sheets in them and they come in like a set of six. And I can travel with antibacterial wipes because they do not count as liquid. So I can just use those wipes or wash my hands with real soap and water in a nearby restroom. Another item you do not have to travel with is a luggage tag. You can use a scarf, you can tear a piece of fabric, you can tape blue tape on the side of your suitcase. I did think of four travel items that are not really essentials, but they would make really cute gifts for a girl going on a vacation or honeymoon or girl's trip. One item is a curling iron mat. I'm going to get my mom a travel case for her curling iron. It will hold or protect up to 460 degrees Fahrenheit. And I like this type because it can smush or mold to the shape that it needs to fit in in your carry-on bags. Another item is a Beauty Blender travel case. Those makeup sponges enlarge when they are wet and they are great for applying foundation. But my travel hack is to pack that Beauty Blender inside a plastic Easter egg. The Beauty Blender travel case that I have here does have breathable holes in it. And the one thing I like about it is that you can put that enlarged wet makeup sponge in that case in the plastic easter egg it has to be dry in order to be in there one item that is not really essential but if you were carrying just a few pills i would suggest this travel pill organizer that's attached to a water bottle i mean you can already see the potential for getting all of your pills or prescription medicine that you paid for completely wet so i don't know you do the math on that one one travel hack for a hotel vacation is to use the ironing board as the extension of your countertop space. Especially if you travel with girls, you need more countertop space. And there is an item that folds up flat. That's the only reason I would recommend it as a gift. It unfolds and goes over the open sink space. I do not travel with a lot of toiletries and makeup, so I don't really need a lot of extra countertop space. And we have a teenage son and he needs zero countertop space. I just want to help you think in a different way when you think about your travel essentials and what to pack in those carry-on bags. If you have not said hello, please let us know where you're going or about you a little bit and say hi. We have a worldwide community of travelers in the messages below. So say hello. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it.